What happens when you remove the separation between a performance artist and the crowd? As our next guests are about to show us, it is just magic. So we're talking about singing, dancing, spoken word. A great day in La Villa is presenting new performances that focus solely on entertainment and even inviting the crowd to participate in these performances. So here to tell us all about it are the co-founders, Anthony Hurd and Centoria Thomas. Thank you guys for joining us this hey, morning. Thank you for us. So what does this all mean when you're talking about interactive? Because you would think the performer would want to focus on what they're doing, but this is kind of a different take on that. Right. Uh, there's a huge separation between crowd and performer. Uh, Lambent Nervson, which is the event, is uh, an effort to merge them, to make the crowd a part of the performance, so they go hand in hand. Um, a lot of times, shows here, you know, performer performs, the crowd sits there, they're like, okay, yes, entertain us, yay. This is an interactive uh, performance. It's going to be. How yeah, do you be interactive now? We're going to be pulling people in <laughs> one on one and really? literally performing to them, with mm -hmm. them, asking them to join in to our performances. Why do you think that's needed, or why is that um, important for the entertainment in the crowd? I mean, just in general, when you, within our society today, you see such a separation with people um, in communication, and so we're just trying to break down the different structures of communication through art and music. So if you sing directly to someone, or if you play directly to someone for four minutes, that's, you cannot get into a more intimate atmosphere than that. Where did the whole idea from this, for this come? <laughs> oh. We watched the installment of Jay-Z's Picasso Baby, and we kind of adapted it and uh, figured that dance, poetry, you know, other than just hip-hop would be a great way to deliver that to the, you know, to the city. And Give to me the a little snippet, because not everyone might know about what Jay-Z's um, doing uh, with Picasso Baby. Is there a way you can kind of... Yeah, well, basically what he did is he took a small stage, and he uh, performed directly to one person mm -hmm. uh, this song over and over and over again, and he allowed people to dance while he, you know, while he performed it, or to sit and listen, or he actually performed to him while the song was playing. So it was very intimate, um, very open, and uh, the people were very receptive to it. So I kind of adapted that a little bit to, into what we are doing. So this is going to be at the Ritz Theater. Um, talk about the different artists that are going to be there. Um, we have... Um, Tristan, he's a dancer. He just won um, America's Got Talent Jacksonville. Yeah, um, we have Ivan Ray. He's our trombone, residential trombone player. Um, Kia, she's our singer. And Mr. J. Miles is the Mr. Guitar Man. So, you know, you see every aspect. And we have other performers, um, hip-hop performers, poets, um, that are going to be a part of this um, experience. Awesome. Well, we're going to put all the information you need to know on the screen if you're interested in coming to check it out. The performance is going to be Friday, November 8th, starting at 6 p.m at the Ritz Theater. And the best part about this, it's all free. Here's a little sneak peek. Girl, I know this might seem strange, but let me know if I'm out of order for stepping to you this way. See, I've been watching you for a while, and I just gotta let you know that I'm really feeling your style, and I do know your name and leave you with my number and I hope that you will call me someday and if you want you can get me a store and if you don't and I ain't mad at you we can still be cool girl I'm not trying to pressure you <coughs> 